How's it going, everyone? My name is Dementi. Welcome back to Modern Warfare. So, uh, tragedy ended up befalling me, and my entire, uh, my entire computer just froze. It just stopped working. And right now I have a, uh, hold on. I've got a fan right in front of my PC to make sure it doesn't go off while I'm recording. Because while I was recording, I recorded about 40 minutes, and everything my entire computer just shut off by itself and i was sitting over here i was raging i i finally beat the fuck out of my desk even though this thing is sturdy as fuck after uh my computer ended up uh disintegrating so my entire computer ended up disintegrating and uh after that happened i hear a loud bang so i get up and i'm like holy shit someone must have wrecked outside so i get up i put my shoes on and i run outside and at that point i see my uh my dad walking out he's running and I'm like, okay, someone must have crashed. So I ended up running and I ran outside and there's someone, there's like a little hilly part near my house where it's just kind of like, hold on, it's just kind of like, fucking, camera, would you work with me? It's just kind of hilly like this. And so what ended up happening, she wasn't paying attention. She ended up rear ending this guy. It was a guy in a, a big ass truck. His truck was literally, it had nothing on it. His exhaust pipe ended up falling off, but that's about it. But the front of her car is completely destroyed. Her windshield cracked. Her wheels off. It's just destroyed. Now she's sitting on top of a bank, pinned up against a tree. And I'm on that side of where uh, she is, uh, near the tree. And there's people on the top. And there's one guy calling the uh, police. And I, for the first time, I ended up realizing uh, the bystander effect. So when we get down there, uh, this is the bystander effect. People ended up not calling for help. But rather, um, they're just sitting there watching. And they're not doing anything. They're not calling for help. They're not doing anything. And so I ended up telling people, hey, are you guys going to call but someone? Rather, so this, this one guy uh, end, ends the, up calling people. So this guy ended up calling people. Uh, sorry, not people. Uh, 911. This guy ended up calling 911. And it, uh, the police officers and the ambulance came. Got her out of the car. And that's the first real time I've ever seen the bystander effect take effect. Because other, other times it's just like, you know, it doesn't exist in a way i never really thought the bystander effect was actually a real thing if you don't know what the bystander effect is uh go give it a uh go give it a look up because it, it's it's really really common if you just look at it in cases of like emergencies people don't sit, do anything they just sit there and watch that's pretty much the bystander effect uh she ended up we ended up getting her out of the car she didn't speak any english by the way so we didn't know what to, what to say to her or do or just talk so we're just sitting there dumbfounded I'm like you okay you okay i don't know so we ended up getting her out of the car. I ended up coming back, and here we are now. Uh, the woman's fine. She's completely fine. She's happy. She's she's great. She was just hurting a little bit, scared. You know, all that mess, all that business. Oh, by the way, they're just, they're still out. The car is still she's on fine. the bank. I'm not gonna show you guys because, well, that's she's dangerous happy. for me. She's my word for it that they're bitch. fucked. Uh, she's the car is completely totaled. Uh, so yeah, that ended up happening. Now I'm back here trying to make a video because. The other one got corrupted because it didn't finish rendering all the way. But yeah, there was also different people like kind of directing traffic as well. So that ended up being something that ended up happening, which was pretty cool. But yeah, that ended up happening. That's my morning. And uh, this video might be going out late tonight because, well, all that ended up happening. And my video, my everything corrupted. See, when I was playing with every, when I was playing with uh, subscribers and their KD was lower, it was so much more fun because people didn't camp the entire time. They all ran around. Every single one of them ran around. And that, oh, I loved it so much. But when in my skill group, I have to deal with people fucking camping the entire time. No sense why people would do that. It's so much more fun if you run around. Because I swear to God, I'm literally about to reverse boost myself so hard yeah but in my other recording session i just camped the entire time to get these cameras and i'm gonna camp the entire time because if you don't camp in your own skill group to get these camos how the hell will you get it <laughs> suck my dick i tried to make it a double upload i was playing until dawn and so i was trying to play until dawn and in the editing process of just trying to edit until dawn, it ended up fucking up. So the, the way it works is I have my uh, camera on the OBS and I have my game capture on the Elgato. All right, we're clear? Okay. So I try to put, I put them both in uh, Sony Vegas and I start to edit them. But the thing is my Elgato 
for some reason it's always slower compared to my camera so i always have to match up like okay say there's a uh so say i'm in a uh i get a jump scare and there's a little a little sound bar right where the jump scare happens and i have to match it with the uh the sound i make after i get jump scared so it's not like lined up with the same amount of it, it's so fucking complicated it's not lined up exactly where it should be and i always have to fix it and it takes literally hours to fix it so i got pissed off and said you know what i'm just gonna do it all on obs so uh i'm not gonna be whenever i do do the uh, up double uploads which is probably gonna be tomorrow i'm going to make it to where uh my camera can't move at all and leave it at that so probably tomorrow i'm probably gonna do a double upload uh play some cod and then make a video on the until dawn because i know some of you guys have been wanting some uh some horror videos because i told you guys i cannot fucking handle it and well you guys took those words for granted He's gonna throw something. I fucking knew he was gonna do that shit! Dude, why? Why to me? That is some baby bag bullshit! Like, dude, they, they always shoot before they come around the corner. That is my skill group. <sighs> like, I'm literally considering reverse boosting, so I don't have to deal with this shit. Honestly, because it's so much more fun when it's not these people. Like, this game is so much more fun when they're running around and doing, just having fun. But these guys are not doing that. They're not having fun. Yeah, if you want to use the M481, I'd, I'd probably stick to hardcore because chances are these guys are using something like the FAL or something that'll one-shot you. So if you want to, unless you camp, then maybe, maybe see what I'm saying? This guy using an M481, how come he can hit me? He shot through his teammate. Ew. I've almost got the bounty kills done already, so that's pretty fucking good news. I can't wait till I uh, fucking slay with a Damascus AX-50. That's what I want to do. Oh, one more kill. There we go. So yeah, stick to hardcore. Uh, no, no, stick to fucking core. Do not ever use uh, AR and hardcore unless it's the FAL or maybe even the FR, uh, the FMOS. See, look, FAL. Uh, one. So awesome. So good. I and for some reason pistols can one shot in hardcore too, which I don't understand. Which I'll be doing the pistols in hardcore for damn sure. Huh? <sighs> yeah, but you know maybe I can get all this done and end up you know playing down till dawn. Maybe this video is gonna go out late, so I apologize because I'm a, you know I'm just I'm a failure. Okay. 